Find the value of x in the equation below. 2 times x minus 8 equals 24. Now there are lots of different ways to solve this, and I'm going to go through uh, just three of them. The first way is we could see that 2 over here is multiplying both sides, or is multiplying this entire chunk of the equation. Now if I just divide both sides by 2, that means that this 2 goes away, and I'm just left with x minus 8 equals 24 divided by 2, which is 12. I could then add 8 to both sides just to find out that x is equal to 20. Another way I could do it is I could go ahead and I could actually expand the equation using the distributive property. I could say, all right, well, I have this right here. I'm going to multiply 2 times x first to get 2x, then 2 times negative 8 to get negative 16 is equal to 24. Then I'll add 16 to both sides. Again, always trying to isolate x. This cancels out to 0. Now I have 2x equals 40. Divide both sides by 2 to find out again that x equals 20. And the last way that you could go about solving these type of problems is you could look at it and you could just say to yourself, what this is looking for is 2 times whatever the value is in the parentheses is going to equal 24. So you ask yourself, hmm, 2 times what equals 24? And you know that the answer is 12. So now you know that x minus 8, what was originally in the parentheses, has to equal 12 and you can easily fill in x equals 20. All of these are possible ways. Something important to do when you're done is to just input your answer to see if it makes sense. So, as I've done here, I've double-checked, and I say, yep, it does make sense, x equals 20.